I would like to welcome everyone back to another PPHM Connection Cast. Today we're in the sports exhibit. It's actually tiled. Panhandle Plains Players. All right. There we See? go. Buster yeah. knows. There we go. <laughs> Speaking of, we have Buster Ratliff. He is the guru behind this exhibit, and it's a really amazing exhibit. So I'm going to let him get started. He's just going to walk us through this exhibit and tell us some good and fun highlights about it? Uh, well, the exhibit uh, just kind of focuses on um, athletes that are just from this area that have gone on to either excel in, in college athletics or professionally or coaching, which we have a few coaches in here too. And uh, so we just kind of started the exhibit with uh, a Kids Inc. case just because whether it's Pee Wee or Kids Inc., that's usually where most start. And in addition to the Kids Inc. stuff, um, one of the cool things is that our education department put up a bulletin board and they did a little history on trading cards. And so what they did was they have a little trading card things that you can go in and um, it's for the kids, but it looks like there's a few adults that have done it too. Uh, make your own trading card and you can either take it home with you or if you want, you can put it up on the bulletin board and be displayed uh, throughout the exhibit. So that's kind of a cool thing, kind of a little activity to do with it and kind of adds to the exhibit some and do that. And then one of the cool things about it that they came up with was a logo for our fictional sports team here at the museum called the PPHM Pioneers. And also in that logo, the logo is a twit pick opportunity. And I can't fail to mention our Twitter account at PPHM1933, because I know you all follow us. And if you're not, you should. Uh, so that is one of the twit pick opportunities throughout the museum. So I expect to see that on Twitter. Now for the rest of the exhibit, we've got a uh, Everything, like you said, from, from basketball around here, uh, you know, you got the Canyon Girls, so you got Joe Lombard, uh, who is one of the, uh, he's one of the best high school girls coaches there is. He's probably one of the best coaches there is, period. And so we have some items from him, from Marsha Sharp, who uh, coached Texas Tech to a national championship in 1993. Uh, from that, we move on to uh, football. And in football, we have uh, a good Texas Tech representation uh, with Donnie Anderson, uh, who played with the Green Bay Packers in Super Bowl one and two. Um, after that, uh, with Bart Thomas and Zach Thomas. And one of the interesting things about them is they were the first brothers uh, in the 83 year history of the Southwest Conference to be first team uh, all conference together. So that was kind of a big honor for them and to be able to display their stuff together was good. And then we kind of move on through with uh, uh, golf and bowling. Uh, with golf, we have Ryan Palmer, who is from this area. Uh, bowling, we got Mike Scroggins, who just recently won the U.S. Open uh, on, on the PBA. So we have artifacts from them. Right behind them is kind of a, a cool case with uh, Alex O'Brien for tennis, uh, Brandon Slay with wrestling. And one of the cool things about it is in the 2000 Olympics, uh, we actually had two Amarillo natives representing the U.S. in, in different sports, and uh, that's exciting. After that, we have uh, baseball. And it's uh, mainly represented by Mark Lee, who's the general manager of the Amarillo Dillas now, but he played for the Padres and the Pirates and uh, started his Amarillo connection by one of his minor league assignments was with the Amarillo Gold Sox. Um, so we also have an Amarillo Gold Sox baseball from 1948, signed by some local players, but also from the team. And then one of my favorite areas, just because I grew up liking rodeo, is the rodeo uh, section at the back end of it. Um, and it has uh, uh, Strand Smith, who's the reigning tie down world champion and it has items that he used in the NFR last year. Um, it has uh, Trevor Brazil, who you put a rope in his hand and he can do it. And he uh, um, has won the world uh, in tie down roping, he's won the world steer roping, and he's also won six of the last seven all around world titles. So he's, he's kind of the man with the rope. Uh, then after that, it has uh, Roy Cooper, who uh, was a childhood hero of mine. So it was kind of an honor to get a not only get a meeting, but get to display some of his stuff. And then it also has some things about Tough Cooper. Roy's got three kids named uh, Clint, Cliff, and Tough that all compete too, and all are doing good. But Tough last year uh, was his first year to compete professionally, and he nearly won the world, even though he kind of got a late start because the uh, PRCA doesn't let you start until you turn 18. And he turned 18 after the year had already started. One of the most interesting people in the exhibit is a gentleman named Buddy Cockrell, and he uh, he's a guy that has kind of done it all. In high school, he uh, won a state championship in basketball, uh, won the gold gloves in boxing, won the state championship in track, I uh, think in shot put. Uh, he was also an All-American in football, and went on after uh, Pampa to play at, uh, for the University of Oklahoma, 
and was a part of uh, Oklahoma in the 50s, had a stretch where they were 47-0, and won two national championships. So he's got stuff uh, back with the rodeo, but also in a football case too. Um, one of my favorite parts was, I think with sports, you kind of get a focus on football, and I love football, so I mean, it's, you know, king for me too, but you get football, and around here, it's kind of girls basketball, um, a little bit of baseball, and those are kind of the sports everybody focuses on. And you don't really think of some of the others, so uh, to get to highlight uh, tennis and uh, bowling and golf and, and especially rodeo all on even par and even kill with, with all the other sports to me was kind of exciting. The murals on the wall uh, were done by uh, uh, Jacob Cooker in our exhibits department and they just kind of an overall representation uh, of the sport. We kind of found a template for him and he just did those himself and, and they are incredible. As much as I love the artifacts as a part of the favorite exhibit, it just kind of puts the exhibit over the top in my eyes. Uh, um, for the way they did it and, and there's six of them so it represents most of the sports that we have here and uh, they're, just, they're, huge. they're huge and they're just phenomenal and they're visible and and uh, they're kind of cool because if you're walking outside you can look up and you can see them and that was kind of the point of it and it attracts you up to the balcony and to the exhibit. We yeah. really encourage everyone to come out and see this exhibit it's really remarkable and um, like we said earlier, there's a lot of interesting and really neat um, sports memorabilia in here, really. Yeah, it is, So yeah. it's, it's quite amazing. So we um, encourage you all to come out, like we said before. If you have any questions, feel free to call us at 806-651-2244. Or you can visit us on the web at www.panhandleplains.org. And we encourage you all to come make your own connection.